<clears throat> okay, right now, if you just followed me from the previous course that we had, I should say on the Bayesian regression analysis with R stand R, you notice that we just worked with the type of the data sets that the data was called, I should say, the woman. And also, you just got what do I mean if you just checked the first tutorials that we talked about the intuition about the parametric Bayesian inference and estimation. Okay, that's going to be the data that we just worked. This is going to be the woman. I'm going to attach it to the board, I should say. And now you see that it's 15 observation. It's It means that it is 15 women, which we have two variables, as you see. We have 15 American women aged between 30 to 39. And we have two features. One of them is going to be their heights in inch and also their weights in pounds. Okay, now. I'm just going to go too much to talk about these data sets because it's something which we have worked on that previously on the previous course, but the data itself is explanatory itself. There is not any complexity that we just want to spend more time to talk about this. The thing that we did was that we created two variables for that. We, say, we said previously, we checked the woman, we said that, okay, if we're going to look at their weights, I'm just going to extract their weights you see that I should say in ascending in order, sorry, in an ascending order, the weight is going to be represented there. Let me just bring the window a little here. And I said that I'm just going to store that, I should say, that value and vector inside an object and I call it x. Why I call it x? Because I'm just going to take the woman's weight as my a predictor feature. And now also, we did the same thing. I said that, okay, I check at it. I look at the woman data sets. I'm just going to use a dollar sign in order to extract their heights. And I'm just going to press control enter to draw, ex execute that command. And I see that the, I should say the height is ordered, I should say, from, to the, from sending order. And now I'm just going to store that thing into an object, which I call that Y. And you know that why I just call the woman's height as y because I'm gonna look at the y, which is essential the woman height as a predicted value as a response value. I hope that also you checked, as I said, the intuition video which I had about the parametric Bayesian inference and estimation. I talked about about this stuff also in that 15 minutes video. Okay, now there we are. And you remember from the basic, non-Bayesian regression analysis, it's going to be very easy. You can find, I should say, your estimates for the slope, I should say, and the parameters of the model. If you come here to just define your formula, as for example, if I say y, which represents, I should say, essentially the woman's height, tilde x, which x represents the woman's weight, comma, essential, the other part is going to be about the data, and my data is going to be the woman. Okay, that's going to be my, I should say, my model. I'm just going to call that model A, because it's going to be the first model which I'm creating in this script. That's why I just call that model A. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead, press Control Enter, execute that line, and the model, you see that this is stored, which is a list of 30 objects. Okay. I'm not going to go too much about, I should say, the thing that we did on the linear regression, which is going to be non-Bayesian. I, I, I recommend you, if you have some problems, please check the other video which we had. The thing which I'm just going to do, simply, I'm always interested to visualize the things, to look at the things visually, because that's more sensible for me. And now, I'm just going to plot the value. I'm just going to say, okay, I'm just going to go ahead with the x, which it means that the x, which is going to be the woman's weight, is going to be on the x-axis. With the y, which is going to be essentially the woman's height, which is going to be on the vertical axis, normal to the x-axis. I'm just going to execute the line by pressing Control enter and you see that on the plot, on the right side, you see that the plot is generated. The plot is generated. You see that each dot represents a woman that this is in our population. 15 women. I have 15, I should say, dots. Each dot 
represents a pair of the heights and weights. Okay, now, and also you remember it's gonna be very easy to fit those, um, I should say, uh, dots representing your woman based on the model like that we presented. It's gonna be very easy. And the easiest part is that I just use the AB line command, which I'm just gonna use it as the model A. I'm just gonna go ahead to define another argument to I call them a kind of a makeup for the plots that we have because the plots I look at it as a face that I'm just gonna have some makeups to make it look more beautiful. Then as a result, I'm just gonna be the other arguments for the color. I'm just gonna go ahead, say, okay, the color, let's choose the color which we like. For example, I just call the color to be red. And also LTY which represents, for example, if that's going to be the dotted or not. For example, I'm just going to go with the one. It's going to be ready, I should say, to be fitted. Press Control Enter. You see that the plot is exactly fitted. And now you see that you can zoom the plot. You see that the things that we have here right now, that's essentially the things which we do that all the time in non-Bayesian regression analysis. That's the one which is fitted to the 15 woman data sets that we had before. Okay. Now, we are just going to go ahead. I should say, in not convert to Bayesian program, I should say, that's right now, we are just going to separate our parts, our journey from non-Bayesian, from, from non-Bayesian perspective. Right now, we are just going to close this part of our codes because right now we are just going to move on to the Bayesian analysis. I think right now it's going to be a good time to stop after I reminded you what we have done in the past as a non-Bayesian. On the next tutorial we start to get much closer to our first codes in Bayesian using the standard languages. Okay, I can't wait to see you on the next tutorial then.